14-year-old Shawnee Mills was handcuffed, dragged out of a classroom, and then charged with assault, all because she was wearing a headband. The incident got her principal and school resource officer fired, but then the student was charged with assault. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn is at Northfield High School. Russell, now six months later, Shawnee's family says they're finally seeing some justice. Yeah, and the freshman was charged multiple times in this case. First, for assaulting the school security guard here. That charge was quickly thrown out. Then, for resisting arrest when the DPD officer showed up here. That charge stuck until today when it was thrown out just one day before the trial was set to begin. I believe that we will win. Outside the Denver DA's office, chance of support. For this young lady, Shawnee Mills, arrested last fall for wearing a bandana to school and violating dress code. My daughter was not wrong in the beginning. She's not wrong now. Today, the DA dropping the resisting arrest charge on Shawnee after this audio surfaced in which you can clearly hear the officer say she did not resist. She pulled away. She didn't strike us. We're not charged with assault mm -hmm. or, or uh, resisting arrest or anything like that. But it's pretty hard to get the handcuffs on. What happened last fall at Northfield High is only now becoming clear. The principal, Avi Tropper, and the school resource officer essentially fired after pulling Shawnee out of class. I was wearing a purple bandana. It was much like this, except it was purple. She wondered why, because she had worn the bandana several times before. She then asked to go to the bathroom. And they said, you know, we will follow you in there. And I said, you cannot do that. That's not okay. After that, by all accounts, it gets ugly. He grabbed my right arm and pinned it behind my back. At that time, I became very scared and I didn't know what to do. Things only calm down when a female staffer intervenes. Ms. Bencomo, she blocked both of them for, from coming anywhere near me. The DA said today, sorry for the trauma. We wish uh, this young woman the very best and uh, hope that she can uh, move forward. We don't believe that. If they wished her the best, they would have left her alone in the first place. Shawnee's family says the principal and security guard should be charged criminally. Backhanded justice is not justice. It doesn't stop here. It can start here, though. Now the family and a group called Black Lives Matter 5280 pressing the police chief to file formal charges against the now former principal and former security guard at this school. We'll keep you posted. For now, we're live in Denver. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.